Space is big, really big. Even the closest stars are unimaginably far away. Alpha Centauri, the sun's nearest neighbor, is so distant that light itself takes more than four years to cover the distance. And that's just the closest one. Most of the stars you see in the night sky are hundreds of times further away. Could we ever cross these vast distances? Could a man or woman ever walk on a world around another sun? To do so, we will either need to spend centuries or even millennia en route or find a way to go really, really fast. To date, humans have only traveled to our closest cosmic neighbor, the moon. That journey, a mere 240,000 miles, took the Apollo astronauts just over three days, averaging 3,000 miles per hour. At that speed, assuming our astronauts can tolerate the cramped living conditions, it would take almost a million years to reach Alpha Centauri. Since the 1970s, humanity has launched five probes to the outer solar system. Having completed their primary missions, those five spacecrafts are now heading for interstellar space. The fastest Voyager 1 travels 10 miles every second, a blistering 38,000 miles per hour. If Voyager 1 were heading directly towards Alpha Centauri, it could reach the star system in slightly less than 80,000 years. It is an improvement over Apollo, but a journey time measured in millennia isn't much good if we want to get something useful from the trip. To reach the stars in a shorter time, we will need a way of traveling at a decent fraction of speed of light, somewhere between a tenth and a fifth. At that speed, a hypothetical probe could get to the closest stars in 40 to 80 years. Certainly not a short trip, but short enough to complete in a single lifetime. The probe will have to successfully navigate a treacherous path through unseen debris in our solar system and interstellar space. Then it would need to collect useful data during a 37,000 miles per second flyby of the star system and beam the information back across the four light years to Earth. It all amounts to a monstrous engineering challenge. Rocket engineers have been experimenting and dreaming of alternative fuel sources from electric propulsion to nuclear-powered rockets and even antimatter-fueled engines. All these techniques suffer from one big problem. They need the rocket to carry a lot of fuel, and that adds a lot of weight. The more weight you add, the more fuel you need to propel yourself to high speeds. Rocket designers quickly get stuck in a vicious loop, adding more and more fuel to gain slightly more speed. To reach the stars in a short enough time, we will need a way to magnify the power of sunlight. The most obvious way to do that is to use a bigger mirror, known as a solar sail. A spacecraft powered by a solar sail needs no fuel, reducing its weight and experiences a small but steady acceleration away from the sun. What's more, that acceleration will gradually reverse as the probe nears its destination star, helping to slow the probe for arrival. How quickly can a solar sail reach Alpha Centauri? Using sunlight alone and a large sail the size of several football fields, some scientists have estimated it would take a few thousand years. That's a big improvement on current methods, but still not within a human lifespan. To get faster, scientists have suggested using focused lasers to power the solar sail. This would increase the acceleration many times over, cutting the journey time to no more than a century. Add in miniaturization, allowing ever smaller and lighter probes, recent studies think we could reach Alpha Centauri in a few decades. In the end, we may not be ready for interstellar travel just yet, but surely, if we keep dreaming of the stars, it won't be long until we reach out and touch them.